Hello, in this lecture, we will define take home pay. According to Fundamental Accounting Principles, Wild 22nd Edition, the definition of take home pay is gross pay less all deductions, also called net pay. So we're talking about employee wages, employee pay here. We're thinking about the amount that will actually be taken home after the deductions have been taken out, deductions related to withholding for taxes as well as withholding for other types of things, which could be good, could be bad, could be benefits such as a 401k plan or health insurance. Let's take a look at an example. If an employee earned gross wages of $1,200, they're not going to receive that $1,200 because the employer is required to withhold some things by the government, those things including <laughs> Medicare. So this is going to be the employee responsibility to pay the Medicare. However, the employer has been tasked with withholding that Medicare from the wages. So this 1,200 of the employee owes the 17, which is gonna be taken out of the paycheck by the employer. Same with Social Security. Social Security is a federal income tax or a federal tax, a payroll tax on the employee's wages of 1,200. The employer is tasked with the responsibility of withholding that from the employee's wages. Then we have the federal income tax. Again, this is, the, this is the income tax on the employee, not the federal income tax the employer will owe based on their net income. This 150 is the federal income tax on this 1,200 of the employee that the employer is tasked with withholding from the wages. Then we could have state income tax depending on the state that we are in, the state requiring the withholding on this 1,200. And if we were to add those up, then we got the 17 plus the 74 plus the 150 plus the 10 total withholdings being 251. That means that this 1,200 gross will be reduced by the 251 to have the take home pay of the 949.